Alright, hi everyone, and welcome back to Just Cosplay's Wario Land Super Mario Land 3. So we're back here in Stove Canyon. We are actually, I think about almost halfway through this game. Mm, actually, maybe a little less than halfway. But this is actually, um, this was actually one of my favorite levels back in the day. I think I just like the music. It's not as good as I remember. But actually, in the time between the last two episodes, I actually uh, looked up a little bit about Wario's backstory to see if there was any light shed on it. And actually, uh, thanks to the internet, I've actually found the uh, original comic that I was talking about for the uh, Super Mario Land 2, where it, like, it, it kind of goes into a little bit of the uh, backstory of, of the two, of why Mario and Wario are enemies. It still doesn't shed any light on who the hell Wario is, but it says that when they were kids, like, Wario was was always mad of uh, Mario constantly bullying him, when if you actually look at the things, in the uh, actual flashbacks, it's a little funny because it shows that Mario is actually more just kind of oblivious and has no idea that any of this shit is going on. So, it's a weird thing of like, I think Wario is is just like pissed off and like he, he wants to follow in Mario's footsteps but Mario at the same time wants like is, is kind of weird because it's like he's oh fuck wait never mind I can't go back down there that's where the secret level is but oh well we'll have to see that another time but um yeah so apparently like, they used to, you know, Mario used to go off and do all these cool adventure things and Wario got jealous or wanted to join him along but then ended up getting beaten up most of the time. Mario just kind of was lucky and none of this shit ever happened to him. So... So, Wario wanting vengeance on Mario for bullying him when he was a child. The only, the only, the only time that that actually kind of made sense was the fact that Mario, uh, they used to play cowboys, I guess, together. Oh, fuck me. Uh, they used to play cowboys together, and they, um, uh, and, and apparently, like, Mario used to make fun of him all the time, so, or, well, they, well, they, they always played, uh, cowboys and, I, like, outlaws, because, I guess, which was, I guess, kind of nice, because they didn't have the, so they didn't do, they didn't do a very culturally insensitive cowboys and Indians. It was just cowboys and outlaws. So. Um, but uh, yeah, so Wario was pissed that Mario was always the sheriff and Wario ever got to be the sheriff once. And when he was, Mario did nothing but laugh at him because he said he looked funny. So that mentally scarred him. So like old boy syndrome, he just held on to that grudge for so many goddamn years and eventually tried to enact his plan of vengeance of having a bunch of random things go after him. So he ends up like fighting the uh, like several of the bosses from the thing from uh, Super Mario uh, Land 2. Uh, and I was right actually that um, that one uh, rat thing is actually a toy. It is a mecha it is mechanical, but um, uh, but, uh, of course, Mario just kind of, it, it's actually pretty funny because, like, they're all trying to kill him, and, uh, Mario just sort of, like, casually beats all of them without really a second thought, including Wario, and then finally at the end he's like, Hey, so Wario, for old time's sake, let's play Cowboys, and then he's like, Oh, that's great, and you think that he's gonna be like, Do you wanna, like, do you wanna be the, you know, it's like, in, in order to bury the hatchet, why don't you play the sheriff? And he's like, nope, you're fucking the, nope, nope, you're the fucking outlaw, so take this, you bastard. You dastardly bastard. And thus the, <laughs> and thus the whole cycle continues and Mario remains the asshole that he is. My, my thought, my initial thoughts on that story is actually pretty funny because it's just like, oh. Well, that'd be kind of, that, that's sort of a funny way of looking at how Mario Wario, like, rivalry started. And actually, I didn't even know this, but there was a sequel. There was a sequel comic that was made about, um, about the fact that it's, uh, Princess, bleh, Princess Peach's birthday. And, uh, both Mario and Wario are, um, are, uh, want to, want to present the, 
because uh, I guess they were shopping in, a, in the mall one day, and they saw a Samus Aran doll. And Peach was like, wow, that's such a cute doll. And then both Mario and Wario are like, haha, yes, I'll do that. So they, this is playing on the fact that I guess Wario used to have a thing for Peach, which a part of me thinks he only did just so that way Mario wouldn't have her. <laughs> kind of like that weird thing of like, you and I are rivals and we will be rivals to the bitter end. So everything is going to be a competition between the two of us. So <laughs> they, um, and, uh, then, Actually, if uh, I actually don't feel like spoiling that one, so if uh, they're very short, they're like only like six pages each. So if you actually want to read them, you should, because um, yeah, they're they're worth they're, they're worth a glance at, you know, if especially if you're a Mario fan and all. Kind of makes you also wonder. Something also like dawned on me when I was thinking about it is that. Oh fuck! Yeah. <sighs> Just a second. All right, here we are, back at the, back at that point. Cause ugh, I don't know why this was. I think probably the combined effort of trying to talk over this game while while reminiscing of childhood and well, actually that was that, that comic book was a part of my childhood. <laughs> but um, something that actually. Oh yeah, so here's this this weird like kabuki mask. Oh shit. So yeah, this is really gross. He he fires his boogers at you, and you actually have to collect them. You gotta watch out because he'll break the platform if, if you're too if you take too long. Oh, shit. I mean, it's gonna take him a long ass time to break to to break those with the, with his tongue. So you got a lot of time. This is actually kind of one of the easier bosses, I would honestly say. I say as I got attacked. Ugh. Yeah, hurry up. Throw your snot at me, Jesus. Ugh. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah! Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Yeah, shit. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> What is funny is that, like, I actually looked up also the uh, relationship between Wario and Waluigi, and it's really funny because they, um, like, Nintendo, I think, honestly, was going to make a backstory between the two of them, figuring out, like, who exactly either of them was, but what I think made it hilarious was that, like, they, um, the, uh, <laughs> the reason why they were... The reason, like, like one of the things that that that, that it says is like there are multiple sources that like confirm that they're brothers, and there's multiple sources that confirm that they're not, and then others are like they might be related, they might not be, and then it's just like Charles Martinet even says that like, eh, they're just kind of two random guys who just happen to find each other. <laughs> Charles Martinet, for no, for anybody who's not familiar with that, is the voice of Mario. So at this point, if you don't know who that is, and you call yourself a Mario fan, that's like saying, I'm a Star Wars fan, but I don't know, but I'm not that big a, but I never saw the original trilogy. I only know it from the stupid other movies. What's up here? I totally forgot. Dragon Warrior? Oh, fuck it. What the hell is that? I know I didn't... It's like a giant cake thing. Oh, there's a treasure around here. Well, might as well collect it while I'm here. So that way I can get at least the, I guess, most canon ending. But actually, well, the other thing that I haven't, that I didn't realize was that Wario actually has a uh, love interest in some, in some of the mo in uh, some not movies, but in some of the games. Um, he had, he was uh, for a while, um, like you know, like like the the love interest was kind of that princess that he saves in Wario Land Four. 
Although I don't know if that was like really they were they were love interests or more of just Wario needed somebody so that way you can be like, hey baby, guess what? <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> uh, I forgot why I'm supposed to hit that, but I'm gonna but I'm gonna do that anyway. Because Wario's a strong dude. And also something that I didn't even notice until I was watching the footage again, but Wario can't run in this game. He can only run if you have the Jet Wario. They kind of changed that for the uh, next game, because uh, in the next game he actually moves at a pretty fast rate, so it's not just him kind of like gra gracefully trotting along. No oh, shit, I lost two treasures already. I'm not doing as well as I thought I would, but. And again, I did promise, I did say that I was not going to get all the treasures in this game. Just would have taken too much time. Aren't I considerate? See what I mean? We just went through all that entire way just to find out that. But yeah, Captain Syrup is like, oh hell yeah, Jet Warrior. Is is kind of the closest thing to a oh fuck me oh fuck me Ugh. um well you know what we'll call that an episode for now and I will uh, get back there once I get back there so uh, we'll see you guys next time.